Good morning, everyone. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch of Realms video. It is 0511, Saturday, February the 3rd. Everyone's still asleep, so we're going to try and get some work done before the house wakes up. Um, this video is going to be about uh, efficiency and how you can get some legendary skill crystals for cheap. If we go to the Corridor of Glory, right? This is this is essentially if you're coming from Raid Shadow Legends, this is your your champion training event. Okay, so uh, you you level folks up, you promote them, you uh, you know uh, star them up. Whatever the case may be, you do all that stuff. You develop your champions. You get points. And this particular event, the Corridor of Glory, uh, the event one, not the tournament one, uh, you get two legendary skill crystals, which are probably the rarest materials in the game, outside of um, legendary soul stones. Uh, they, I don't know, yellow summons might be more. Rare. Those are those are pretty rare too. So so probably the third rarest in the game behind behind that maybe ancients too okay so they're top five we'll say that okay i'll stop making a fool of myself they're very rare um but they're very very important because they are so rare and that's how you skill up your legendary champions right and and skills are very powerful in this game for a lot of champions so you want to be able to get them you want to be able to get them as cheap as possible because there's uh there's a stamina system, right? And in any game that has a stamina system, efficiency is very, very important. Uh, it's 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 the most important if you don't ever spend any money. But it's even important for people that do spend money, okay? You want to be able to efficiently gather resources to improve your account. So the cheapest way um, that you can get this, I'm going to show you how to do that. I just saw a video yesterday. Um, it caught my eye someone did this exact same thing and they spent about 4 million experience. Um, and I'm not going to call them out. I'm not trying to throw shade or anything, but I was like, oh man, you can do that for a lot cheaper. So I, I thought I would just throw this out to help people. So uh, the cheapest way to do it, if you hit the exclamation point up top, it'll tell you what you get points for. Okay. You get a certain number of points for doing all of these things. Okay. The cheapest way to do it, if we go to our heroes, we can see that, let's go to the cheap ones, so your one star champs, if we go to upgrade them, we can take them from level 1 to level 10 with 1800 experience, okay? Now, if we go back to, we'll do it in a second, right? But just to show, right, 1,800 for the first nine levels. That's nine points. Let's star this person up just uh, to show, you know, for uh, example's sake, all right? Now, to go from 10 to 20, which is one point more than 1 to 10, right? Um, so you get nine points for going from 1 to 10, and it costs 1,800 experience. To go from 10 to 20, you get 10 points, and it costs 5,250 experience, which is almost three times as expensive if you do that, okay? So the cheapest way to get the most points possible is to level as many champions as you can from level 1 to 10, whether you normally would in the process or not, right? So what I mean by that is in this one, your in in this example, I don't want I want quick startup. So if we come here, this is what most people use. This is what most people love. I abused it um, in the you know beginning stages of the game before I I caught on here too. But what happens is the the game will auto select the in the hero chosen column. It'll max level them, and then in the startup materials, it leaves them at level one which, you know, uh, makes sense because you can uh, level, you can, you can use them at level one. Uh, the problem is that is wasted cheap points for the event. Okay. So what you want to do is everyone that you're using is startup materials. You want to level them up to level 10, right? Um, this includes, so all of your one star heroes, you level them up to 
to level 10, you uh, uh, star them up to two star. All of your two star champs that you pull, you level them up to 10 before all, all of your fodder two star champs, you level them up to 10, right? All of the ones that you're promoting to three star, if they're going to 20, but all of the ones that you're using as fodder, you still put them up to level 10. All of your three star champs, all your blues that you get uh, from, you know, pulling shards or whatever, or sometimes in like farming experience in gold, you level them up to 10. If you're pulling shards for the weekend and you're pulling epics that you already have fully awakened, you level them up to 10 also. Okay. And that is the cheapest way to get the most points. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get some more champs here really quick. The best way to do this throughout the week is here in the Dwarven Association. Buy it if you're if you're if you're still if you're still developing a lot of champions, if you're still trying to get a bunch of champs to six star, then you want to buy all of the one star and all of the two star champs in here every single day. And you can refresh it and buy more. So that's eight. Um, might use that, maybe. Let's get our energy. Here's 12. Let me know if you want me to do a video on what you should and shouldn't buy from the Dwarven Association, because it does make a difference. 16. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Man, no energy. Okay, and, and you stop when uh, you start to have to pay gems. So there was twenty-two. You know, you can get around twenty-ish every single day. Um, and then however many times you're refreshing it throughout the day, right? Which you can do every hour. You can get more. So you can get like 50 one and two star champs as fodder for very, 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 very cheap every single day throughout the week without great difficulty at all. I stopped buying the two star ones personally um, because I have enough champs at six star. I just buy one stars just to get these legendary skill crystals, but I really don't need to. Um, but if you're still developing folks buy all of them. So I'm going to level up all of my, I'll show you how many points I have. Okay. Let's get current status. So I have 104 points and I have 2.5, two and a half million experience. Okay. So I'm going to level up all of my one stars, and my two stars. Hopefully I can figure out how to speed that up in my, my editing app so that you don't have to watch the whole thing. And then we'll, we'll link back up at the end to see um, what the points were for the, for the cost. All right, so we are back. <clears throat> We've got 4,400 points right now. And put that uh, into context for what I just did. Um, I had 77 uh, one-star champs that were got skill leveled up, start up, start up to two-star. Um, so all 154 of them went up to level 10, leveled up the ones that were getting start up and all of the fodder. After they were done... Um, that gave me, uh, the, the ability to take 45 two-star champs up to three-star. So those 45 champs that were going to get start up, they all went to level 20. 
and then all of the one stars uh, were already leveled up to 10. So the remaining two star champs that were needed uh, to star up those 45, they all went to level 10 also. Um, and then the and then I had 11 uh, rare champs that I took to level 10 and one epic that were just, you know, sitting in my sitting in my box that I need to get rid of. Um, so 4471 is the points that we have right now. We started with 100, so we got essentially 4,300. And if we go back to experience, we can see how much that was. Oh, and then and then I took 12 three-star champs up to level four, right? They're already um, all past level 10. So the higher up you go, the less efficient you get in cost. So uh, we have 1.4, and we started with 2.498, so... Uh, 1 million 60k so just barely a million experience to go just under halfway so you can do this you can finish it with just a little bit over 2 million experience if you're paying attention to who you're doing okay um, now uh, the other side of that right is that uh, you're going to have folks that you're probably legitimately developing also right so if you do, you know, half to two thirds of the points like this very efficiently, where you're paying attention to who you're leveling, and then the rest of it can easily be made up by folks that you're actually, you know, like you pulled a legendary champ and you want to take them up to six star or whatever, or you pulled a Dolores and you're going to take them to six star. Um, promotions count for a lot of points, right? So you'll make up the rest on the back end as you're naturally developing your account. So you'll, this one million, 1 million for just under half. So you can max it out with, you know, uh, around 2 million. Um, uh, just a little bit more really easily without, you know, um, going into the really expensive stuff. But it is not a far stretch to say that if you're actually um, doing it this way, leveling everyone up to 10, and then legitimately developing some champs, you'll probably end up in the two and a half to three mil range instead of like four or five, uh, like it happens a lot of times with a lot of folks. The other part of this is that this is the, the champion training um, event. These legendary skill crystals are only in the event. They are not in the tournament. The tournament is far less value realistically i would say don't even do the 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 tournaments uh only focus on these events and and sometimes they do these back-to-back -back weeks but usually they're every other week okay so ignore the ignore the tournaments uh the the oracle of trials is, yeah oracle's trials when they pop up here the champion training stuff whatever it's called i don't remember but when you're supposed to level your folks up and develop them and train them uh you get far worse rewards for doing it when it is an oracle's trial tournament instead of an event okay so uh, that's how you do it cheap i hope that helps some folks uh if it did please support the channel like comment subscribe share it with your friends i will see you in the next one